Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. Today we will learn about ChatGPT versus ChatSonic. If these are the type of videos you'd like to watch, then hit that like and subscribe buttons and the bell icon to get notified. Just for a quick info, if you want to upskill yourself, master artificial intelligence and machine learning skills, and land your dream job or grow in your career, then you must start exploring Simply Learn's code of various AI and ML programs. Simply Learn offers various certification and postgraduate programs in collaboration with some of the world's leading universities like Wharton, Purdue, Caltech, IIT, Kanpur, and many more. Through our courses, you will gain knowledge and work ready expertise in skills like generative AI, prompt engineering, explainable AI, machine learning algorithms, and over a dozen others. That's not all, you'll also get the opportunity to work on multiple projects and learn from industry experts working on top tier product companies and academics from top universities. After completing these courses, thousands of learners have transitioned into AI or ML, role as a fresher, or moved on to a higher paying job profile. If you are passionate about making your career in this field, then make sure to check out the link in the pinned comment and description box below and find the AI and ML program that fits your expertise and areas of interest. Now without further delay, let's get started. So as discussed in this video, we are comparing two AI systems, ChatSonic and ChatGPT. We will explore their capabilities, limitations in detail. So what is ChatGPT? ChatGPT is a conversational AI trained on human-like dialogue developed by OpenAI. ChatGPT can give human-like responses to your inputs and can help you with tasks such as generating emails, writing blog posts, creating essays, and creating codes in various software languages. ChatGPT has been trained with internet data until 2021. Besides, it improves itself by analyzing the conversations it had with its user. On the other hand, when it comes to ChatSonic, ChatSonic is a conversational AI developed using ChatGPT 3.5 and ChatGPT 4 infrastructures. ChatSonic can generate text and images to create responses based on user's input. ChatSonic has been developed to produce images rather than just text. In other words, ChatSonic can also generate images from textual inputs. Let's get back to their UI and check how exactly they respond to the questions asked. So here we have ChatGPT first. So ChatGPT user interface looks a little simple and straightforward with the black color highlight on the and a simple grayish background for the text. So here if you can write down any of your queries, your questions and your chats to ChatGPT and it will read them and give out the response to you. And on the other hand, when it comes to ChatSonic, it has a little brighter user interface a bluish shade of uh, section for the prompts and here you have the white background for adding your questions so before getting started with this asking the questions and everything let's check out the questions limit or you know uh, basically chat gpt has a limitation for the questions or prompts you can uh, use on the other hand when it comes to bard and other competitors they pretty much don't have any limitations as such Let's check about these both first, ChatGPT and ChatSonic. So ChatGPT questions limit. Yeah, so there is a 20 to 30 question per hour limit. And also uh, you can go up with around, not per hour, per day. Yeah, so when it goes per day, you have about 50 questions of limit within a four hour time frame and when we replace chat gpt with chat sonic and check out what's the limit for that here we go so it's a little complicated it's not giving the correct or exact numbers but it says chat sonic offers a free plan with limited features and a 10,000 word limit monthly this is not for daily it's monthly and they also provide a small team plan starting at $19 per month. And let's check the subscription for ChatGPT. So it's pretty much the same. It has $20 per month and uh, the ChatSonic goes with $19 per month. So uh, yeah, pretty much. Now let's get back to their UI and try to ask some questions. So hi ChatSonic. So I'm trying to write down an email to my client to push the deadline by week. Let's see how it 
writes it down let's also expect it to write the subject it is giving some proper reasons it says thorough testing and quality assurance so it might need some time ensuring that the final deliverable exceeds your expectation that's pretty much convincing now let's try the same query with chat gpt nice so chat gpt is pretty much trying to live in the current situation which might be more convincing here it says we are trying to address some of the additional unforeseen issues so this might take a while and uh, yeah we understand the importance this is nice and uh, pretty much good but it's not as convincing as chat sonic so it said that your product might be highly uh, better than expected so that's that was a little highlighted point there so in here you can see the better highlighted point is about the unforeseen situations so it is trying to live practically here so it's good it's not just giving some uh, uh, sugar coating to the client so it's pretty decent now uh, let's try to book some tickets Ooh. Yeah. hotel reservation sorry so it cannot uh, book you any sorts of hotel reservations or tickets but if I ask the same question to, uh, to chat sonic let's see what it replies Ideally, it should not because uh, it should not have access to any of my credentials. So it should say I can't, but let's see what it throws. It is taking a little while. I might expect some good results. Okay, I'm sorry I don't have the capability. But again, when you compare the same with other competitors like Bard or any other, they end up giving you some alternatives. Exactly, they will say I'm sorry I can't, but they give some alternate results like a link to a hotel booking website or some suggestions which is the best uh, hotel or they might even ask you questions where do you exactly want to go i might help you to get some good places around or i might help you to get some good uh, locations around so as far as chat sonic and chat gpt are concerned both are on the same page and uh, another major difference about these both is how updated are they so if i ask some latest questions about uh, the current year updates to chat sonic let's see what it yields in let's say uh, what's the result of cricket world cup 2023 the web scrolling result let's see Ideally, when I see a question with your numbers, I am having the database up to 2021 or something, and it might not give me a right result. But again, let's check. Australia and Australia, that's the right answer. But when I ask the same question to chat GPT, let's see what it has to say. Ideally, it should give an answer. But again, uh, since the number 2003 or year number 2003 is included, I am presuming that it might say I have the data updated till 2021. Let's see. I'm sorry, yeah, exactly what I expected. So these are the pretty much differences what you have on both ChatGPT and ChatSonic. And when it comes to uh, the specifications, we know uh, ChatSonic is basically based on the frameworks of ChatGPT 3.5 and ChatGPT 3. Yeah, 3 and ChatGPT 4. So there shouldn't be much of a difference between both of the frameworks. So yeah, this is how both of them respond. So with this, we have come to an end of the session on ChatGPT versus ChatSonic. And if you have any queries regarding any of the topics covered in this session, then please feel free to let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will be happy to help you as soon as possible. Until next time, thank you for watching and stay tuned for more from Simply. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.